Hello world. I just arrived in Glastonbury after the festival, the Osho Lila Sexuality Gathering, and I just want to show you a look at this room. It's so, so beautiful with flowers. I mean, so there's an altar, it's beautiful painting. I mean, an ashram. Look at that. They even have a little feather with this statue and incense and a candle. And I'm so happy this is the perfect place for me to land after having spent five days in this super intense environment that festivals are. And um, I just come from, from the Osho Lila sexuality gathering and it was, I was blown away. I've been to many festivals, Tantra festivals, conscious sexuality festivals and other ways. And uh, this was my first festival in at Osho Lila. And this is a community that has been around for 50 years. There's a lot of sannyasins, which is which are people who have learned from Osho and who've been on this path of personal growth for decades. And um, the sense that I got is this is the, this is a community that has elders, that is complete, that has this whole range of ages. And the experience was just so lovely. There was so much generosity in the field. We were like 200 people, so much generosity, so much kindness. And the group of teachers that we had was incredible. And I was talking with my friend Ruth, uh, who assisted me about what made it so what made it so um, special. And there was so much humbleness in this group of teachers. There was no ego. There was not trying to be better than participants. There was so much solidarity and generosity in all directions. And I've been so nourished. And I just wanted to share. I hope my Wi-Fi signal is, is good enough for you to to hear me and see me because it's not that good here. But it's all I got, and I just really wanted to share. And um, I just want to share a little bit about, you know, why do we do all this work? Why do I work with intimacy, and what does it bring me? And on the one hand, it brings me a lot in the realms of um, being able to express my boundaries and my desires and uh, live a way more empowered life. And that, of course, is, is you know, is worth it already. That's all we need. I, I truly believe if we can all really express our boundaries and desires, then there we have no need for wars or fighting because, you know, we can all nourish ourselves plenty. So that is that is the biggest thing uh, that I think is why I work with intimacy. And another one, a very yummy one, is that through all this work, when we release all these blockages in the body, when we release our fear, when we release our um, shyness of communicating, when we release the walls around our heart, when we release uh, whatever is holding us back from our power, whenever we get really in touch with our emotions and we learn to breathe that, uh, when we breathe our energy through our whole body, when it's not just, especially when we engage in, in intimate interactions, which does not necessarily mean sex, but any kind of intimate interaction, we could just be eye gazing and we could feel it in the base of our pelvis and it could stay there. But when we learn to move that through our whole body, this can be very healing experiences. We move the energy throughout our whole body as not just nourishing, you know, when, when it's sex and we just, you know, uh, interact and release in an orgasm or whatever that stays in the pelvis it could be nice but it could also be you know not that fulfilling or you might have a dip afterwards and um, I've learned that when I'm able to allow the energy to move freely through my body it's super nourishing I don't get it down I feel loved I don't feel a lack I feel creative I feel yummy and uh, this week was super beautiful of holding space, of giving workshops for big groups of people, a bit the edgier workshops with the king. But I enjoy it so much too to just be in the field and connect with these beautiful souls. And there was this beautiful love lounge every evening held by Cy and Ash. You might know them. Wonderful, wonderful beings. And I, I feel so much love for. And last night we were with people and we were just running energy. We were fully clothed. And I guess nobody will believe it. We were just running the energy together. And it became so ecstatic. It became so ecstatic. All our bodies were moving. And just so much energy was moving through. And I could feel how it was shifting. Like I feel me in this big process of shifts again where my life is changing. I'm not even sure what's changing. 
but I'm in a process of letting go of a lot and just moving and running this energy is releasing there's this tears there's laughter but it's releasing like you know all this that we could hold back and we could put in these storage boxes and just carry somewhere in our system it is being released and everything in the moment is released and what it brings me is maybe you can see in my face but there is this yummy buzz in my body now like after five days of very little sleep and a lot of interactions and a lot of giving there is this buzz happening in my body i feel so loved i feel so like belonging in this world in my body in my life i feel yummy i feel nourished i didn't i didn't have sex with anyone but i feel so nourished and yummy and you know so oh so so beautiful so beautiful and i could share that we've shared it with people and just to share that with each other is so bonding is so beautiful and this is you know this is this is such a beautiful way of being with other people and I know we live in a society where there's a lot of judgment around that, about being together and feeling that energy or maybe kissing with another person or maybe, you know, have a, a person, a person's partner and then vibing the energy together. There can be so much uh, conditioning around that, but it's so beautiful. It's so connecting. It's so nourishing. Uh, like right now, I feel complete. I feel loved. Um, just asking bus drivers for which bus to get here is beautiful it's beautiful the responses are so beautiful arriving in this perfect place having beautiful interactions i just you know i'm crying all, like on the edge of crying because of happiness all day i just want to give you that share that with you like okay this is what can happen when you do this this is this is not just about theory this is about living this practice i'm doing that again and again and i feel tired i feel wasted and it's so beautiful here. I love the UK. I'm so glad I'm here. I just want to go outside and feel and breathe and just, you know, I can walk under a tree when I'm in this state of openness. I can walk under a tree and feel like having an orgasm and not the orgasm that you might know of, you know, rubbing genitals, but this orgasm of these big waves moving through my body just by looking at a tree or just now looking at the clouds. I felt it and it's so nourishing. It's so beautiful. <sighs> deep breath <laughs> so that's what I wanted to share with you and I've got three days to myself now I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna uh, explore Glastonbury I'm gonna meditate I'm gonna write I'm gonna be with me I'm gonna journal I'm gonna go deeper into my processes and probably share a bit as I go I'm looking forward to, uh, to having a bit of time before moving to London and hosting a play party there with Shani Love uh, but until then I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna enjoy life um be here with myself so sending you so much love kisses and i hope you'll feel a little bit of what i'm talking about as you watch this little video all right big kisses to all of you Mwah. <laughs>